When police explained to the entire nation that they would leave no stone unturned as to the carnage that was caused in the Brixton shootout that followed after a car chase on October 30th, I think people just shrugged their shoulders and fought the demise of Lamar Scott, who was a known UK drug rapper and known as Perm and part of the UK drug group CT. That would be the end of it. However, slowly the police conducted an investigation and released more details. Now of course, it then emerged that Perm was travelling in a white MG when him and another person, who is says to be Colds from 150, were attempting to get away from rivals. And trying to flee, it was Perm's white MG that hit the delivery moped driver, Guilhami Messiah de Silva. Now he was thrown off his moped and his injuries were categorised as catastrophic. Sadly, he passed away minutes before completing his last shift. Now of course, when it emerged that an innocent civilian had been caught in a crossfire of a gang shootout, there was a national outcry, people were absolutely disgusted, and they wanted the people responsible to be held accountable. Now on impact, Perm and his accomplice Colds kept driving before they crashed into parked vehicles. Now Perm jumped out of the car along with his passenger, and they both tried to run in different directions. Now Perm's rival was armed, and he fired over a dozen times in Perm's direction. Perm was struck eight times. Now, how wicked, how spiteful, cruel, vindictive, vengeful do you have to be in order to target someone that badly? Now, I'm not saying that Perm was innocent in all this. This is what happens when both parties are involved in gang culture. Things like these happen. It's part and parcel of the life choices you make. Now, as I've said, police have arrested a 25-year-old man in connection with the incident. Now please say, as I says, that person is Collins, a UK drug rapper from the group 150, whom they are good friends with CT. They are saying that Collins was actually in the passenger seat at the time of the incident. Now the fact that he's getting charged with manslaughter is a bit crazy, but then again, it's probably due to that joint enterprise. All I can say is condolences. Stay safe. Say.